Hello! This video is going to talk about knitting increases. These are stitches or methods that we use to increase the number of stitches that you have in your project. Um, and there's a variety of ways to do this. This particular video is going to be for the make one left and the make one right. These are almost invisible increases um, and can be left leaning or right leaning depending on the designer's requirements for the pattern. They can also be done in knit or purl and you do that by the stitch that you make after you've increased can either be a knit or a purl. Um, we're going to talk about the purls today uh, but you can substitute this for a knit stitch very easily. So we're going to start off with the make one left. Purl. So I'll get in here a little bit. Now this increase stitch uses the bar that runs between the stitch you just made on your right needle and the first stitch on your left needle. You're going to use this little bar here to make another stitch. So for the make one left, we are going to pick this up with the left needle, going from the front to the back and bringing it up onto the needle. We're going to be purling it. So we need our yarn at the front. And because we don't want to make a hole in our knitting, we're going to purl this through the back loop, which is going to twist this stitch and close up that gap. So we want to catch the back loop this is fiddly. You don't want to pull it too tight and you'll find it easier to get your needle in there. Wrap your yarn as normal. Pull through. And you've just made a stitch. And then we can knit. Now twisting that stitch has closed up the gap. And we can see the purl bump on the front. So I'll do that again. I'm going to pick up the bar from front to back. Bring your yarn to the front so we can purl. Pick up the back loop. Or the back leg of the loop that you made on your needle. There we go. Wrap your yarn through and at the next one so you can see and there's the made stitch Knit a few now we'll do the make one right purl so we're going to do the opposite we're still going to use the bar but this time we're going to pick it up from back to front and we're going to purl through the front a little bit easier we're all used to this Purl, oops, keep that stitch on there, knit the next one or two. Now I caught a strand of the next stitch in that one, so let's do this again. We're going to go from back to front. We are going to purl through the front leg of that loop. There we are. Get the next couple. That one's better. Ignore this one. <laughs> it's a design element. I'll do this one more time because that one was a bit messed up. So we're going to go back to front. And we're going to purl through the front leg of that loop. Get the next stitch, two. And you can see the extra stitch there. We can see this one running up and we can see this one running up and we have an extra one in between. And that is the make one right and left purl. 
Bye. Good knitting.